Even with a significantly lower number of COVID cases in Yuma County this week, Yuma Regional Medical Center says locals should also start preparing for the upcoming flu season. Good evening, I'm Mercedes Martinez. And I'm Scott Crow. Samantha Bird has more of what doctors are saying. Yuma Regional Medical Center's Chief Medical Officer tells me the COVID hospitalizations are down right now, but he does encourage Yuma residents to get their next COVID booster to prepare for the winter season. Local COVID cases are down by 60 in just one week. I spoke to one Yuma resident who says he feels like the COVID wave has passed. So I don't like see the necessity of like wearing a mask or something because I don't really see it as much anymore. It just makes me feel more comfortable with like being out, being out with friends and not having to worry that I'll get sick from COVID. And Yuma Regional Medical Center Chief Medical Officer Dr. Magoo says the hospital has zero COVID patients in the intensive care unit. I think it's where we want it to be. I think we have four patients in the hospital. None of those patients are in ICU. Uh, so I think we are uh, we're seeing uh, a good level of immunity among the our local community. So that's what we want. Dr. Magoo says he does, however, expect COVID numbers to increase as temperatures cool down. He also expects flu season to be worse this year, saying the flu has been suppressed by COVID for the past two years. That may not be the case this year. We expecting uh, you know, flu season to be worse than the last few years. We already know the flu has been worse in Australia, and we, we expect the, you know, uh, the flu might complicate COVID uh, upsurge even more. So he encourages Yuma locals to get the next booster shot as well as the flu vaccine. Dr. Magoo says the new COVID booster shot should be available within a few weeks. Reporting in Yuma, Samantha Bird, News 11.